Hey everyone, what is going on? So I have another video for you today, and we're in the Weather Cup for the Ultra League, and these are my battles that I did on stream, and I went from 2700 to 2900, so I'm currently at 2928, so close to Legend, a 5-0 might get me there, uh, hopefully I can make it, but you know, I, I was using a different team, and I battled a friend of mine, Paul Seda, I met him in... Um, uh, in Vegas for the Hoenn tour and we did you know a trade I got a regional from him super nice guy and he was using this team and he beat me with this team I, I thought it was a really cool team I thought it was a really great team so I decided to use it and I just <laughs> I kept on winning with it it's crazy you know even out of bad leads I just kept on doing really well with it the team is uh, Kingdra with a Lowland Sand Slash and a Bomber Snow now I am using the regular Kingdra and the regular Bomber Snow but I think the shadows will work just fine uh, the damage is absolutely insane from like the Shadow Dr King dress. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and try out uh, that, you could go ahead and do that. But I've, I've noticed a lot of water in the back. That's why I like the Abomas now. It's been working out really well for me. But yeah, we have a pretty lengthy video. I think it's around 20 minutes long. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab a snack, whatever you're doing. Um, and you know, let me know what you think of these battles. So Red Jace is coming in. I've actually battled a surprisingly... Uh, you know, a good amount of... A, so to me, it was surprising to see a lot of uh, Red Ice. I don't know why, um, but, you know, I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just, um, I just wasn't expecting a whole lot of them. <laughs> I did, did battle a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Octazooka right now. Uh, and I do not get the bait, unfortunately, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Obama Snow. But the good thing about this is even though my opponent didn't shield, they called that uh, bait... You know, they're still double debuffed. The debuff did go off, so I'm going to be able to... We actually don't even get a shield there, which was surprising. But, as I said, my opponent is debuffed, so I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. No problem, I can take another one. Um, and my opponent is actually going to concede that game, and they're still hanging out here. There they go, they back out. So, good game, well played to my opponent. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into another match against my friend Bleepner. He was streaming at the time. Okay, so Jellison. Jellison is so common. Um... It's just so common. So generally speaking, I do win this matchup, but it, it all depends. Usually I shield the first one because the first one, it's very unlikely that they're going to bait a Surf against a Kingdra that double resists. I would be shocked if they bait it. I'm just telling you right now. You could bait the Octazooka here if you want to. Sometimes I do, and sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, as you can see, my friend Bleepner does not shield that, which is good for me. So I can't switch out here, right? Because my Bomber Snow does not really like Alolan Sand Slash. So I'm just going to uh, stay in, go for the debuffs. Uh, and I do get the debuff there, which is really nice. But in comes Kirim, so I'm going to bring out my Bomber Snow right now. And again, because the Bomber Snow does not want to see the Sand Slash. But against Kirim, I'm doing neutral damage with my Ice Attack. So uh, it's not that bad against Kirim. I know I take a Dragon Claw, I know I take a Glaciite, so whatever they want to go for. Glaciite makes sense. Kirim is so good. I really want to get enough XLs for the Master League, because Kirim seems like such a fun Pokemon to use. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Weather Ball right now, and I do pick up the second shield. Can I make it to one more? Yes, I can, but beautiful counting from my opponent. He's going to go ahead and throw. I'm just going to let this go. I know it's going to KO me, but that's totally, totally fine. Uh, I bring in Kingdra right now, uh, and Force the attack, you know, yeah, force him to throw, because if he didn't throw, I would get to an Octazooka, so he does throw the Dragon Claw, I bring in my Sand Slash, I'm up a shield, I'm looking pretty good, I think I call this one, no, I shield it, never mind, uh, it's an Ice Punch, okay, yeah, so I don't call it, I shield it, and it's an Ice Punch, nice play by him, I was tempted to, to call that, I think, but uh, I did not, so now I'm going to be hit with a Bulldoze, but Bulldoze is not really a good move, uh, it's just, like, the only option you have is a ground move for Sand Slash, so you have to use it. Uh, but I do connect there, and even if he can make it to a Dragon Claw, it's not going to matter because it's not going to be enough to KO. This is going to KO the Kirim, and I'm going to be able to take that game. So that is going to be a great game, very well played to my opponent. Keep doing those treadmill battles. He does treadmill um, GBL battles on stream. Very impressive, very good stuff. Good game, well played. Definitely go ahead and check him out on Twitch. All right, moving on, Kingdra into Tentacruel. Okay, so uh, obviously Abomas doesn't really like this. Sand Slash is fine here. But uh, if he's staying in, Kingdra's okay as well. I know, I mean, it has Gold in, in Essence, but it could have Sludge Wave, right? We've seen that in the previous cup, I think the Spring Cup, where a lot of them were running Sludge Wave. Uh, but in this scenario, uh, we're going to see Essence. But I do think Tentacruel is a really good Pokemon for the record, uh, but I don't have enough XLs. I am going to go ahead and bait here, uh, and I do get the shield. As I said, sometimes I bait, sometimes I don't. It really depends how I'm feeling. If he called it, I don't think it would have been a bad bait. He just would have called it. But because we got that debuff, I'm going to be able to live that. 
Uh, I'm going to save my energy, and I bring in a Bomber Snow. I make a mistake. I should have went into my Sand Slash because the Bomber Snow is weak to Stone Edge, whereas Sand Slash is not. So I make a mistake here, but it is what it is. Um, I know Stone Edge does a lot. I know it doesn't KO, but I don't want to take it. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this. Um, maybe the maybe the reason I switched into a Bomber Snow is because I, I wanted a Bomber Snow to avoid the Tentacruel. That could have been a reason why I decided to go into uh, a Bomber Snow. But I think the Tentacruel is relatively low, not that low. Um, but at least I'll be able to make it to an energy ball, which will threaten a possible KO and maybe get a shield from my opponent. I survive an acid spray. I am expecting the other move to be scold. I was hit with a blizzard. I actually shielded it. Not in today's video, in like a previous, I think the previous day. Uh, we do get the shield there. And, um, you know, I was a little bit too late. I, I could have thrown immediately upon switching in. I was a little bit too late to tap on the outrage. But I'm okay with this going into Ludicolo. Uh, because my Sand Slash is uh, really good here, right? Because I resist it. <laughs> Razor Leaf. I double resist it. So, uh, no, I single resist it. But either way, I still resist it. Good game. Moving on, going up against Trent, a really strong battler. Going up against Lantern. Abomaster would love to introduce itself to that Lantern. But this is not bad either. Um, again, you could bait here. You could go straight Outrage. You know, if you if you go Outrage, they shield. That's unfortunate. If you bait and they call it, that's unfortunate. It could go either way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I go straight earthquake here. I just I do over farm and go straight earthquake Or oh, not earthquake outrage see what my opponent wants to do He does go ahead and let that go and I'm gonna go for the fun down. Do I get it? I do not get it I do think it's worth uh, giving up a shield so I can win switch and possibly double debuff whatever comes in So I do go ahead and give up a shield uh, and it's gonna be a nine tails I'm bringing in my sand slash right now outcomes could absolutely love to see it um, So this is totally fine I'm going to go ahead and go for my Ice Punch right now. Uh, super effective damage. I'm going to be able to go for another one. Now, I am a Steel and Ice type, so I do take um, neutral damage from like the Stone Edge, right? Uh, but I still am able to, to take one. So I'm going to go ahead and take one. I think I could actually take two. Oh, I guess not after after the charm. We got we, we took a charm or two, so I guess not after that. I'm going to go ahead and throw my attack because my opponent, they, they add an attack, but they don't throw it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw mine just to get rid of it. Uh, I know I know what's coming in. I know it's going to be that nine tails. I think I bait the ice punch here because I'm like they're done to the last Pokemon. They have to shield, right? There's no way he's going to call this, but he actually does call it well played. Um, to be fair, Bulldoze wouldn't do a, a tremendous amount because it's not a strong move, but still. Uh, but I will go for the Bulldoze now, and now he shields it. So nice play by my opponent. Um, I bring in Kingdra just so I can get off the Octazooka and possibly forever debuff it. Because imagine if I could double debuff it for the rest of the battle. Uh, he actually doesn't show that I do double debuff it, which is huge for me. Uh, now I can just take any of these attacks, no big deal. Uh, I, I mean, Weather Ball is literally doing nothing. I think I just powder still down the Alolan Ninetales, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up. I don't have to, uh, but I decide to shield it. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and farm down. Uh, and Powder Snow that Alola Nine Tails, and that's going to be a great game, very well played to my opponent there. Well done, let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We're all fighting for Legend. Okay, another Lantern. Lantern I do think is really good. I have enough Excels, I have a perfect to build it, it's not best buddy. Kingdra coming in, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Sand Slash. So, this matchup is a little bit more tricky because the Shadow damage is just absolutely insane. Right? And, and he does shield it. Um, I still win the matchup. I could take an Octazooka, but can I really take two? Um, so after the Dragon Breath damage, maybe not. So I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, the Ice Punch right now. Uh, and this Ice Punch is going to connect. I think I go for the Fawn down here. Um, yeah, because he gets to an attack. So yeah, as I said, this Octazooka will KO me. So I am going to go ahead and shield it so I could maintain Switch. Uh, and no debuff. Luckily for me, neither of those debuffed. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get off this attack. And I do have the alignment I want. I want the Abomasnow onto that lantern, right? Um, no shield, that's fine. That puts it in energy ball range for sure. Um, I will get sparked down, but I'm going to be able to get off this Ice Punch just to get some additional chip damage. I mean, I guess Abomasnow doesn't really need that chip damage, but still, better than nothing. I'll bring in Abomasnow. I resist all these attacks, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. No need to shield. And it is a Thunderbolt. Kill him coming in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a Weather Ball. And I think I switch out. Let's see. I throw the Weather Ball. I do switch out. I'm totally fine with letting this go. I mean, this doesn't KO Kingdra. But even if it does, it's actually Glaciar. Uh, so they were expecting me to shield. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Octazooka right now. 
Uh, this could de debuff the QM, and they actually let it go, so it just KOs it, and now out comes Lantern. But uh, I have this Obama Snow right now, so this is looking really good for me. I can take another attack. Um, I also have a shield as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this attack. It's just going to be a Surf, so good call by me. Uh, and I bait here, but I believe this is still enough to KO regardless. I wasn't sure if it was going to KO Lantern's Tanky, but it does do the job. So, good game. Well played to my opponent. I'm going to be... Yeah, I just I just kept on winning with this team. I'm not going to lie. Moving on, King Dream to Red Ice. Okay. So, how I've been playing the Red Ice is... Red Ice is just really bulky. And, I mean, I could take an attack with Kingdra, but, uh, you know, it has Thunder. It has Focus Blast. I think it also has Blizzard, but I haven't been seeing Blizzard. I, I think one attack. Um, and my Kingdra is going to be able to go for this Outrage. Uh, and very nice. And my opponent will make it to another attack. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up so I can farm down and take Switch. Uh, it's going to be a Thunder. That's fine. So I do take Switch. Out comes Kingdra. Can I make it? I'm going to go ahead and switch into Sand Slash. My opponent's staying in. My opponent's staying in, so maybe they are weak in the back to Sand Slash. Um, only time will tell, but my opponent is going to go ahead and get off that Octazooka. Totally fine, because I could take an Octazooka. Uh, no debuff, good for me. It is Jealous, and so they're weak to the Shadow Claws. They're, they're weak to the Shadow Claws, so I understand why they wanted to get off damage, because one Shadow Ball wouldn't be enough to KO me, but now it is. Uh, actually, is it? I might actually live a Shadow Ball. Uh, I think I do, but not well, not well. Uh, so the Shadow Ball is coming out. I do live it. Not well. I cannot make it to a Bulldoze. Oh, I can make it to a Bulldoze. I'll take it. So Sand Slash coming in clutch. Able to get off this Bulldoze. Um, and that will pick up the shield. Very nice. So I do get a shield there. Uh, Kingdra coming in. I go for the Octazooka. I just want to get damage off. Uh, I want to get this Jealous. I want to get rid of this Jealous. Hit my opponent shielding it. And then they switch into Kingdra. Nice night. But I do have the Obama Snow right now. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and immediately throw this attack. This is going to be enough to pick up the knockout. Um, and then, yeah, it's just looking really good for me. Obama Snow versus Jealous. I'm going to be able to win this one. But what I could have done was let my Kingdra get farmed down by his Kingdra. Bring in Sand Slash against his Kingdra. And then I would have had Obama Snow against Jealous. Uh, instead of immediately switching out into my Alolan Sand Slash. I could have done that. But either way, that's okay. I'm still going to be able to take this one. I do go for this Energy Ball right now, and this is going to KO the Jellicent. Jellicent is so common in this meta. It's absolutely insane how many Jellicent is almost on every team. Um, it's, it, it is really good, though. It is really good. Kingdra into Swamp It. Okay, looking to be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Earthquake will do a lot, but they can't throw Hydro Cannon. Um, okay, Red Ice. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the Outrage again. I, don't, I haven't been baiting against the Red Ice. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, Outrage, and that's totally fine. My opponent gets off an attack. I know I could take one. The unfortunate thing is my opponent does reach another move before I uh, can farm it down, which is unfortunate. And, I mean, if it was a Thunder, I could take it. I don't know if it's a Thunder or not, and it is a Thunder, so I could take that. But if it was a Focus Blast, I wouldn't be able to take it. But I do farm down. Uh, Sand Slash is coming in. I can't switch out because if I switch into my Sand Slash and they switch out, I have my Obama Snow against that, and I don't want that. So I, I gotta stay in. But at the end of the day, this is not terrible because I am. Look how much they're already at 50%. This is not below 50%. This is not terrible. Uh, I'm doing some damage. Ice Punch, not enough to KO me. I would have preferred if it did because they got more farm, but that's okay. I bring in my own Sand Slash. Swamp it. I know is in the back. I do bring in my Obama Snow. I guess the issue here is that the damage is just coming out from those Hydro Cannons. Uh, I was contemplating on baiting, or yeah, thinking about baiting. Uh, ultimately, I decide not to. I do take this Hydro Cannon. Uh, I do decide to go straight Energy Ball. They have two shields. I'm hoping they think that I'm going to bait right now. And oh yeah, you love to see it. Uh, and out comes Sand Slash. Just going to go ahead and throw this immediately. Now we're looking really good. Um, because I have a full health Sand Slash, right? So my opponent is going to be able to get off this attack. This is going to be enough to KO me, but it's totally fine. Uh, and I bring in my Sand Slash right now. And at this point, I just throw Ice Punches at the Sand Slash. I think I decided to call this. It is going to be a Bulldoze, but um, I knew it wouldn't KO me. That's why I felt comfortable calling that. Um, so now I can just safely throw this Ice Punch. Um, 
And that is going to be enough to KO. And that, yeah, even my opponent shielded, I would have gotten off another one. Good game. Well played. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Kingdra into Sandslash. So this is a tough matchup. A matchup you don't like to see, but you do have to stay in. As I mentioned earlier, if you go into Sandslash, they switch out. You're going to have a Bomber Snow. You don't want a Bomber Snow on that Sandslash, right? So you got to stay in here. Um, but that's okay because you can still do a lot, especially if you get the debuff. You're still doing a good amount of damage. Um, I don't think it's worth shielding. I'm just going to lose this matchup. Unfortunately, I don't get a debuff. That debuff, I think, is going to prevent me from getting to this Octazooka. Because they get off an Ice Punch, and I think they could Shadow Claw me down before I get to the Octazooka. No, they switch out. Oh, yeah, that's right. They switch out and bring in Kingdra. Okay, that's right. Um, so, good play. So, I'm going to bring in my Sand Slash now. So, the, the roles are reversed. Um... Kind of tough right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw my Ice Punch into the Kingdra. Not expecting a shield. I do not see a shield. You kind of want to throw it relatively soon just because you don't want to be de possibly debuffed, right? Uh, Octazooka coming out. Uh, and I do not get debuffed. That is huge. That is huge. I'm going to be able to throw this attack right now. This Ice Punch uh, into the Kingdra. And I'm going to go for the farm down. And unfortunately, they do get to another Octazooka before I get the farm down. But I can still take it. So... I'm kind of relying on a Bomber Snow, although they do have that Sand Slash, which is scary. Um, so how is this going to work? Spoiler warning, I win this game. Um, how is this going to work? I well, first of all, I could take the Ice Punch. Um, so, uh, yeah, I remember. I double bait. I double bait. So I do throw the Ice Punch here, because an Energy Ball is, is lethal from this range. I get the shield. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up. It's going to be an Ice Punch, uh, and I'm charging up for the Energy Ball, throwing the Ice Punch right now on CMP. I am throwing on CMP, making sure I maximize my energy as as, pos as much as possible, and my opponent does shield. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this one, and then I'm going to throw at 5, because it takes 5 to get to uh, the attack. And I, I knew they could catch, but I'm okay with this going into Jealousy, you know, because we still need to get damage on Jealousy. So, like, I, I didn't mind the catch there. Um, uh, my opponent is going to go ahead and get off an attack right now. It's going to be a Surf. It's not going to be enough to KO me, though. Uh, and I'm going to save that attack. I'm going to save that Energy Ball because I know I win CMP against the Sand Slash and they are in an Energy Ball range. So, uh, unfortunately, that didn't KO. I didn't think it would, and they get off an attack. But all I need to do is Powder Snow down the Jellicent. Can I do it? Can I do it? I powder snow down the jealous hit. As long as my moves come up and the game doesn't lag, I'm gonna get off this energy ball. I'm gonna take that game. That was a crazy game. I that I thought we were in trouble that game, but no. Maximizing the energy, able to take it. Good game. Well played to my opponent. Moving on, Kindred into a bomber snow. Okay, it's okay. I mean, obviously the weather ball is neutral. Energy ball is neutral. Uh, so it's not like you dominate this matchup, but it's okay. Uh, I would have loved to have sand slash on this. I tried to catch actually uh and how comes jealous in okay so the one thing i have to keep in mind is that that obama snow is loaded right uh, but as as you know you know i can win this matchup i just have to shield one shadow ball uh, because my shadow claws are super effective um so i am gonna go ahead and shield uh, usually they don't bait i think i had one trainer bait to surf uh usually they don't bait um, this is another attack, okay. I, I miscounted at this point in time. I thought they would one more. They needed one more, but no, that's a Shadow Ball. Um, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw, maximize my energy, charge up enough, uh, for max energy, and throw the Bulldoze, not expecting a shield, and that's very nice. In comes Lantern. So now I'm gonna have the Obama Snow on that Lantern, which is pretty cool. Throw in my Bulldoze. Bulldoze is super effective. Picking up that shield wasn't gonna bait there. Too risky to bait. If my opponent goes for the farm, that I will make it. So my opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack right now. Uh, and it is going to be a surf. Now keep in mind, the Obama Snow has a lot of energy. I know the switch is coming. I switch out. I caught something. Um, either way, it's neutral, but still. Uh, it's going to be Weather Ball. That's fine. I'm just going to throw the Oxys as soon as possible. My opponent charged up so much energy uh, that my opponent will just get off this Weather Ball. But it's not going to be enough to KO me, so I could throw my Octazooka right now. Just want to get this as low as possible because I know I have a good matchup in the back. We do get that debuff. That m will prevent them from farming me down, so they do have to throw. That is huge. That is huge. Basically, I just want to get rid of this Obama Stone. Because, as you know, I, as I said, I have a good matchup in the back, right? 
Um, and my, my opponent will just concede. I was going to throw the Weather Ball right away to get rid of that, uh, and then I would have been able to Energy Ball that Lantern. Good game. I do think Lantern is really good in this meta, by the way. Now, the Lantern, the first day I wasn't seeing a lot of Lantern. The second day I've see, been seeing a lot. But I do think Lantern is really good if you have a Best Buddied uh, and a Hundo. I have a Hundo, I just don't have mine Best Buddied. Uh, I can still use it, though. I have enough XL candy. Um, so, okay, so what I'm doing now is I realize that they always get to multiple attacks. They always force a shield. So what I'm doing is undercharging so I can maximize my energy uh, because I'm going to have to shield one of these attacks anyway, right? Um, so that's what someone suggested in chat, and I thought it was a good idea. I decided to try it in this battle. I'm going to go ahead and shield um, and should be able to farm down before they get to another attack, just getting that much more energy. Very nice indeed. Um... And let's see what decides to come out. Um, okay, missed what came out. But either way, I'm going to throw in an Outrage onto it. And it's going to be a Lantern. Very nice. I'm good. But now we're even on shields, which is amazing. I have my Bomber Snow, which is really good. My opponent... Honestly, a Surf. I'm double resisting. It's not going to KO. They have to throw the Thunderbolt. Uh, so now I could bring in my Obama Snow. And out comes Credulli. You love to see it. My opponent is going to concede that game, and that is going to be a great game. Yeah, I just kept on winning with this team. Even, you know, I think I played well. There's some games I could have probably played better, but overall, I do, I do think uh, I played well. Right, if I do say so myself, uh, for the most part. Uh, and picking up a lapis as well. As you can see, that final set was a 5-0, 29-28. Let's go. Will legend happen? I mean, it will happen, but will it happen the following day? Anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Good luck on all your clients. Have a good day. Bye.